Before we start our project this week, we're going to have a quick look at the work of the artist Paul Klee. Colour was extremely important to him, and as you can see, he often used cool and warm colours, sometimes in combination, in his paintings. He also used a grid effect, squares or rectangles of colour, and our project this week is inspired by his work. Hi kids, the uh, light isn't very good for filming today. Where is the sunshine? But uh, I'm just going to present you your project for this week quite quickly. And for this piece of art, we are going to use warm and cold colors. And you find those colors on the color wheel, which we looked at last week. As you can see, what you need to do is divide your page or sheet of paper into squares. Now, my squares here are three centimeters wide by three centimeters high, and I have got eight of them across and eight of them down. You can adapt the squares so that they fit on the paper that you are using. And when you have drawn the grid, the next thing to do is to draw a circle roughly in the middle. You can use a lid or a saucer or anything round to do this. And then you might like to draw a tree shape inside the circle and at the base, although you can also do this later. I would then like you to paint in the squares using warm and cool colours. You can choose if you want warm colours for the outside, for the sky, or for the tree, or in reverse. I'm going to use warm colours for the tree area and cooler colours for the background. Look at the colour wheel if you are not sure what warm and cool colours are. And you can also use black and white with these colours. So, Let's get going. And just make sure you don't go outside the circle if you are painting the tree. As I said, you can also use black or white with the colours to create tints and shades. So now I'm going to start with the cool colours for the background. Uh, these are largely greens and blues. A very, very light green is a cool colour and a dark purple is also a cool colour. Again, I'm also using white and black for tints and shades, and I'm going to try to paint each square in a different colour. 
we'll see how easy that is. So it's a new day, the light is finally a little bit better and as you can see I have finished my painting with the warm colours inside the tree, the cool colours in the background. And the last thing left to do is just to draw the tree trunk and branches. And you can do this using a black or dark brown marker, or you could use paint if you wanted to. Uh, I can more or less see the outline that I started with, so I'm just going to draw that in now. Just quite quickly some branches inside the tree shape. And that's it, that's your painting finished. Of course, I would love to see photographs of your finished works and uh, have fun with it.